Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And today we are watching One Piece live action episode 6. So we're coming off the back of one of our favorite episodes. Last episode was awesome. We got to see Zoro versus Mihawk. I actually really like Mihawk. I don't think there's been another pirate that we've met. I think barring Buggy, but different. I liked Buggy for a different reason. Whereas I liked Mihawk's attitude, if that makes sense. I agree. The The first pirate we met, I forget her name, but the woman. Alvita or something. Yeah, she was like, eh. Yeah. And Kuro was creepy and weird. Buggy was, like, he was not bad. I liked him. We liked that joker side of him, if that makes sense. Yeah, which didn't come out as much in the end. Yeah. He was okay. Buggy was, 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 was decent, but Mayhawk is the one that's like, okay, you're actually, when you think of the intensity and the epicness of the potential of them, he had presence, you know? Like, he was like, oh, shit, you're yeah. someone else. Whereas a lot of the other ones were sort of, they're a bit weird in their own right. I think that's the whole, I think that's part of the One Piece charm, but they were a bit sort of different. Whereas Mihawk was like, okay, this guy, you don't want to fuck with. Well, he had presence for sure. And I really love that about him. But I also just like the way he looks at life. Obviously, we've got a small snippet of how that is. But I think just from what we've gotten, I can deduce that he does have the morals that, I would like in a character, you know? Coming into this episode, we are going to see, I guess, Zoro and how he's dealing with his injuries. That was a mad slash, nasty gash. Yeah, that was deep. We're also, I'm assuming, going to see a bit more on Sanji. I hope so, because I do really appreciate Sanji. And him and Luffy really do have, I feel like they're identical twin stories in a way. Yeah, well, I feel like a lot of everyone's sort of their... What brings everyone together is everyone has a dream. Other than Nami, yeah. who we don't know much about yet. But everyone's got this dream. And Luffy's collecting a whole bunch of people that have these dreams. And also, you know, sees yeah. the goodness in them. But Sanji and, and Luffy, they both have, like, this old man that's telling them they can't be whatever. And then, you know, they want to go to this place that no one's heard of or seen. Or, you know, it hasn't proven to be real. And that's their dream. So I feel like in that way, whereas other people's, I feel like is more realistic and tangible. Whereas theirs is like, well, it could be true. It could not be true, but either way, it's still my dream. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And lastly, we've got Nami who sort of came back at the end there, but she's also packed to go. So we're waiting to see what her decision is going to be and what she's going to do. Mm. So she did say that she was from a small village. She didn't really have any friends. I don't know, my, and she hates pirates. We know those three facts. So I feel like pirates obviously did her dirty at some stage, especially on her village, which I feel like she holds dear. Was it the Ka Ka Camo Islands or something? I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name, but that might be her home. But what I also don't know is she doesn't have any friends. Maybe it's family that she contacted, remember? And she was, like, on that slug phone. Anyway, so I don't know. You also don't know whether Nami's telling the truth or not. So yeah. I wouldn't take everything to face value at this point. True. Thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more. And let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. Don't... I him. did it. He's really heavy. I mean, he's got a really big head. It's like freakishly <laughs> big. What does that have to do with anything? Sir, hey, can you hear me? Where's the first aid kit? Do we even Sir? have a first aid kit? Luffy's not really coping. Yeah. Luffy. Luffy. Someone needs to go back to Baradier. Um, I'm really not hungry right now, Nami. Not for food. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> When Luffy says he's not hungry, you know he cares. Bring me my kitchen knives and a bottle of our best whiskey. And a fresh yellow tail. And a cooler. Bigger the better. A yellow tail? Just do it already. Yellow? Interesting. Oh, another new intro. I love them. Oh, Sanji's definitely going to be part of the team then. He's got the chef's hat with the skull. 
Oh my god. Is that the sterilized wounds? Hell no. That'd be a waste of really good liquor. Oh. <laughs> Needle. Oh. oh. I've heard about being able to use fish skin to heal certain parts and wounds. That's disgusting, but it's pretty cool. It's really cool, yeah. He's got one foot in each world right now, caught between life and death. You have to Does find he a way to get tethered to our world. Talk to him. Damn. Mihawk wanted him to live, but he didn't make it easy for him. I know. Well, it's going to be interesting interaction. Nice of you to announce yourself. I thought this was a conversation we might have privately. <laughs> Mihawk's just taking his chair. Holy shit. Now you know the hierarchy real quick. I decided to let him go. I oh, he said it straight out. I told you to bring him to me. Come now, Vice Admiral, I don't take orders. Oh, <laughs> oh that's sick. I would still do precisely what I want. No more and no less. And what I want is to see what becomes of that young man when he enters the Grand Line. Oh, shit. Okay. Who knows? Maybe your grandson will be the one to find the One Piece after all. Oh, Kobe didn't know that. Now he does. But the fact that Mihawk believes in that is wild. Ooh, things are spicing up here. Is he laughing? He's a weird one. He gets angry and then happy at the same time. Oh shit, it's demolished in two seconds. I'll take my dinner in the mess all tonight. <laughs> He's missing a few screws, dude. Oh yeah. What's the matter? Don't like fish? I love fish. I just need to get Sora Sora ready for him. Oh, Luffy. <laughs> I love this crew. I want to be part of this crew. Zeph once told me that making decisions is what separates a captain from the rest of his crew. And he was one of the best pirate captains that ever sailed the seas. Oh wow, explains the leg. How you two meet? Were you on his crew or something? Not exactly. Backstory time. Nine years ago. Oh, in the East Blue, okay. Sanji's going to the All Blue. <laughs> it's not a real place, kid. The old blue doesn't exist. Yes, it does. And one day I'm gonna find it. Sounds just like Luffy, doesn't he? Pirates? We're gonna get out of here! So you're running a restaurant on the ship and you didn't expect pirates? <laughs> He's got oh. seasoning on his back. I'd rather die than have you season my food. Oh, damn! <laughs> That's not half bad. Better than anything you can make, your old shitbag. Oh. <laughs> oh, He's shit. popping up real. So you tell me, what does the Luke Plant know about the old blue? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Wow. The fact that you survived that is crazy. Tell me they're the only two that survived. But, but the crew. They're all dead. Except for us. Oh shit, man. Was the other guy his father or something? No, he looked like it. And we hope that a partial ship spots us before that sun bleaches our bones. Wait, is that where they build the restaurant? No, uh, no, I don't think. I don't know. I don't think so. They're just waiting there. So eat slow. There's no more after this. Why do you get the bigger one? Because I'm three times your size. That's why. You know something? You should be glad that I'm giving you anything at all. He's always been hard on him. He's, yeah, he's a pirate captain, I guess. Trying to ration out his food as well. 
How bored would you be just sitting there all day? I know. Oh, you and hunger, you would die right then. Yeah, I'd be dead. Day 25. Oh, shit, you'd be long gone. I think how freezing it is right now as well. Yeah, right on the water. How are they gonna see anything? I oh, know. Wow, he's really trying. You'd be desperate, dude. And of course it comes when it's raining and dark. You'd be thinking, the injustice. Oh, oh. shit, man. Moldy bread that's always got left. Oh, yuck. I guess you can't complain. I can't believe the other guy hasn't checked on him yet. I oh, know. Hold oh, my holy shit. What was that? He's just showing that he's out of food. Day 50, what the oh, hell? Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Oh, okay, at this point it's getting ridiculous. Oh my god, over two months. Oh, damn, he's crossing over. He hasn't eaten anything? You gotta give me some. <laughs> He never had any food to begin with. I remember that. He gave it all to Sanji. Yeah. Isn't it funny? All of a sudden, all the riches mean nothing. You're right. What happened? Has he been eating his leg? No. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Oh, he cut it. Oh my god. You ate your own leg? You gave me all the food. He did eat it. Did he? I don't think so. Why would you do that for a stranger? Oh, he's tearing up. Damn. Me too. Because we are not plan. I have been searching for the old blue. My whole life. So wow. they share the same dream. I love how he calls him a little eggplant. Believe me. The old blue is real. Oh, oh man. <laughs> and I'm gonna need you to fulfill that dream. I can't believe he ate his own leg. No, it's not because he did. Oh, I love him now. <laughs> he could have let me die on that rock. Instead, he acted like a captain. He made the tough call. Yeah, that is a captain and a half. Respect. You could have saved Zoro. Oh, He didn't have shit. to fight Mihawk, but you let it happen. Why didn't you stop him? I mean, there was no stopping Zoro. He might die, Luffy. I'd do anything to save him. Anything. Aww. Except stand in the way of his dream. I was waiting for that. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't you have a dream? Yeah, right now. It's for Zoro to not die in my bed. Well, I cash is being vulnerable, though. Not everyone gets to follow their dreams. Come on, Nami. Time to open up. I'm sorry about all this. I'm sure you had your reason. And you already know the reason, don't you? I didn't hear it. You know Luffy is my grandson. Damn. Straight up, I said it. Luffy is different. He doesn't follow the rules. He thinks for himself, no matter what anyone else says. Just like him. 
Because Luffy knows exactly what he is. And what's that? Pirate. You like that answer. And what do you suggest? Oh, shit. Will I let him be a damn fool pirate? That'd be the worst thing, sir. That's an interesting question. Maybe I've been going about this the wrong way all along. Must of the Marines on deck. What is he going to do? Make a deal? Make them one of the warlord kind of things? Like a deal with... I don't know. I feel like something we're not going to like. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. Music's like... Oh, is that Arlo? Yeah. Who's hungry? It's pretty cool that he can do that in the water. Yeah. Everyone's scurrying away. No one leaves. We're trying to. It's up to you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. So everyone must know who he is. My name is Zef. Am I on this place? Well, I'm Arlong, and I own the East Blue. No one owns a sea. Oh, shit. Listen up. I'm looking for a pirate in a straw hat. Goes by the name of Luffy. Oh, my God. He's looking for him. Yeah, the map. Did you not hear what I just said? They are hunting you. We need to run. Take that off. They won't recognize ya. We're going to protect this place. This isn't your fight. I love that. You fed us. <laughs> that goes a long way with Luffy. You stay with the ship and protect the map. He's really trusting her so much. It's gonna be safe with you. I really do hope that's true. I believe in Nami, but... Oh, what an entrance. Let's go, Luffy. Which one of you is Arlong? Who's asking? Take a guess. I'm Monkey D. Luffy. Oh, what an interest. Straight up. No tricks, no games. You know, I was expecting someone bigger. So was I. Oh. oh. Yay, a straw hat. Oh my God. Did you miss me? Burpee? Burpee. <laughs> These fine fishy folk. Persuaded me to point him in the right direction. That Ellie took his head? I've got eyes and ears everywhere. <gasps> oh my oh, god. Oh, no way. That is really interesting. Sorry, honey. Oh, come on. Give a clown a break. I, oh, wait. No, not back in the bag. It's so dark and wet and sandy. <laughs> it's weird seeing Buggy be so bitch. I know. If you bow down to me. I might even let you serve in my kingdom. Well, that ain't gonna happen. To any man. I'm no man. Or fish. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh my god, please don't die. Please don't die. Oh! No way. Sarge is gonna snap. Oh, shit! Oh! Sanji's a weapon! Really great fighter. <laughs> he definitely has to join our crew now. Is that the dick? <laughs> and Usopp. Yeah, Usopp to the rescue. <laughs> He's the second person to do that. Luffy just got the humiliated. Oh shit, get up Luffy, come on. I don't think small jabs are gonna do anything. Yeah, ineffective. Surely you have a plan Luffy, come on. I really thought Luffy was gonna do better. Oh, oh my god. Shit. Holy shit, Luffy's getting ragdolled. I told you in the bar I didn't have any friends, but the truth is I couldn't let myself have them. Tell us why. 
because I always end up hurting the people closest to me. No! What are you gonna do? Tell me she's leaving. I don't know what's so special about you, boy. Why don't you come find out? <laughs> I love his one liners, though. <laughs> oh, oh, to be fair, a bit more even. Damn, oh. dude, Luffy's getting slapped around. Come on, Luffy. Oh my god. Luffy, what are you doing, dude? Come on, fish guy. <laughs> Is that all you got? He doesn't even give up. Luffy gives no shits. Oh, damn. Oh shit! The more Luffy gets belted, the stronger he gets. <gasps> oh, the salt water! That's his weakness. And he knows that, for sure. Yeah, he must know that. Damn it. He's gonna give it. Oh my gosh, she's gonna give the map. I have the map. I got it for you just like I said I would. Not me. Is that who she was talking to? I only joined up with you so I could steal the map. No way! Nah. She's part of the Arlong Pirates. Let's go. Not until I finish my But he hates I humans. Waste your time killing a devil fruit eater. Let the sea do it for you. Oh, she shit. What? I feel like she's doing that to give him a chance. Damn, shit got dark real quick. Who's jumping in to save him? The man. Go, Sarge. Let's go, Sarge, baby. She trusted that one of them would come for him. I'm hoping anyways. Where's Nami? She's gone. She's a member of Arlong's crew. Wow. The crew is at an all-time low right now. I still oh, don't get how- Oh Sanji's packing some aid. Yeah, he is. He's looking good. I like you, Zeph. I love his backstory. Great backstory, yeah. He stood up for the everyone just then. I don't need you to do that. I think he wants him to move on to go live out his dream. Their dream. I did not save your life so you could waste it abroad, eh? Yeah. <laughs> if it means that much to you, Go find it. Look, do you want me to quit? Is that what you want? Quit in this day in here. Oh, yeah. shit. That's why it's so hard on him. Yeah, well, Chawboy offered me a spot on his crew. Maybe I take him up on that offer. You want my permission? You got it. Fine. 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 He's doing it out of love. Yeah, damn. I love them, don't I mean? Me too. Those fishmen guys were tough. You would have loved it. Oh. <laughs> yes, you would have. And now I lost Nami. I lost the Grand Line map. He's very accountable. I, 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 I like that. I need you, Zoro. Oh, <laughs> oh that hit me in the feels. I need you. Wake up. So wake up now. Damn. I'm gonna keep talking or let me get some sleep. <laughs> that made me on top of you. <laughs> Sorry, you're not dead. Oh. He's so happy. Oh my god. Oh. Right now, I'm wishing I was. <laughs> <laughs> and that'd be your response to me. <laughs> Oh, 
I, Roro Noah Zoro, vow to stand by your side. Oh, yes. Until the end. Is it Roro Nora Zoro? It's his full name, yeah. Sick name. Yes, it is. You're my captain, Luffy. <laughs> and I'm your first mate. Oh, that's oh. a JR. And Nami gave him that, that title. I wasn't worried for a second. <laughs> oh, ow. What do we do now? Plot a course for the Grand Line? Nope. But I thought we were going after the One Piece. We are. Oh, damn. Time to go get Nami back. We're going after Nami. Love it. Luffy. With no man too. behind. Or woman. Unless they're pudgy. Leave them behind. <laughs> wow. You're not allowed to be part of this crew. I heard you guys need a cook. Yes, yeah. Sanji. Yes, we do. That's my reaction too. It's like, Same. yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy's excitement is so raw. Welcome, Sanji. Welcome to the Straw Hat Pirates. Oh, beautiful music again. They've got some great music in there. I know. He's going to go find the all blue. Hey, Sanji! Oh, thank God. They're speaking. Yeah, you got to have last words. You know, all these years... Living under your shitty roof, cooking at your shitty restaurant. I owe you my life. Oh, oh man. Oh, that roofs me as well. That's a really nicely done scene. I'll never forget you, Zeph. Neither will I. Now they're not shallow when they're leaving. I know. <laughs> oh, man. Zeph really did need to give him a push, though. So we're, we're going after Nami, but how are we going to find her? Yeah, we don't even know where she is. I know someone who does. Tell me they got the clan with him. <laughs> oh, no, my what? God. Oh, buggy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys. Oh, God. Buggy has been humiliated, dude. I don't know. I'm excited to have Buggy with us, though. Explore him a little more. Another really, really enjoyable episode. I know we said last episode was our favorite, but I think this one takes the cake. I think so too. But I think there's been a massive shift. The first four episodes, some stronger than others. Some were really good. Some I thought were okay. But these last couple, I just feel like the second half is really getting better. Like oh. I'm, I'm personally really enjoying it too. So am I. Like the emotion there, the intensity, like... You really, I love, I don't know if they do it in the anime, but they really do focus on everyone's dreams and goals. And I think that's what brings the depth to all of this yeah. as well. Sanji and Zeph's backstory, beautiful. Really Honestly, well done. Mwah, perfection. Like, that was amazing. And I felt like, oh, just, it was slow. But I felt like we needed that journey to then get to the other side of the rock again to find that he had no food as in Zeph. Yeah. yeah. See, I remember that detail. So as soon as I got the bags, I was like, uh -huh. I was waiting for you to find that part. Oh. Off memory, again, it's shady. But I, I, I feel like Zeph lost his leg saving Sanji's life. And they left it a bit unanswered here, but I don't think yeah. he ate his leg. You guys, if I'm, if I'm forgetting that... Give us that, some confirmation, please. I don't think he <laughs> ate his leg. I think that was a reason, unless they changed it in this. Well, I'm happy that I wasn't the only one that came to that conclusion. So did Sanji. <laughs> yeah, really emotional backstory but for Sanji. I really enjoyed it. it. The pacing of it was really good. The music was nice. Overall, I, I felt it. It didn't feel mm. cheesy to me. I actually really got invested. And for you guys who don't know, Sanji was always one of my favorite characters as a kid. Oh, really? Yeah, and I don't know if it's because on Cartoon Network, his voice actor was, the English voice actor was the same voice actor that does one of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball Z, which is Trunks. Right. So I don't know if some subconscious connection happened as a kid due to the voices. And I don't remember why I loved him. I just remember that I always thought he was really cool. 
So I was always looking forward to seeing how he would be adapted here and would I like the actor. And I, I do like the actor. The look's pretty on point. So I think they've done really well there. I just love the emotion behind their story so much. And you know what? Even how Zeph was, he was really hard on him because it's like he didn't want to tell him that he didn't want to have Sanji around, but he wanted to be hard enough for him to go make his own choice to go live out both their dreams, you know? Yeah. And I think that was done beautifully. Like, he loves him deep down and they love each other deep down and he only wants the best for him since day one. He didn't even know who he was, yeah. you know? Yeah, and I think the timing, the way it was done compared comparing with the Marines and then Sanji's backstory and that contrasting Luffy's. I think yeah. they've done, the writing's actually really good where they have changed a lot of subtleties from what I remember from the anime, but they've done it in a way that I would argue is done even better than the anime. It almost yeah. brings out the key highlighted points in a way that's better. Now, I don't remember, I could be wrong here, but I don't think Luffy did fight Arlong at this stage in the Okay. journey at all and i don't think arlong had buggy's head or even used buggy to find luffy I, well maybe he did talk to buggy i don't remember but I, I don't remember a lot of this i don't feel like i feel like a lot of this is almost like a bit of an addition which i think is works perfectly it doesn't actually contradict or change anything yeah but i don't remember i like that it happening. because i mean i feel like so far we've gone from each part to each part and we palm them off each episode whereas you know buggy we get to see again and maybe explore a little bit more with him so. and you've been building Arlong up teasing him teasing him teasing him you know now we're heading yeah. towards him towards the end of the series that's the, and that ties into nami somehow so that has been done really well okay speaking of Arlong and nami like my theory is just based off the information that we've gotten from nami and then obviously the big reveal that she's part of the fish crew or what what's Arlong's Arlong pirates Arlong pirates very humbly named it after himself. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> at least at least Luffy named it off a hat that he cherishes from someone that, you know, he loves. Yeah. But I feel like Nami had no choice but to go with Arlong. Maybe Arlong raided her small village, I'm not sure. Or, I don't know, maybe they're related in some way. I don't know, but... I feel like she had no choice and that was her way to survive because she does seem like a person just from what she said she does things to survive and she doesn't get a, a choice in living her dream she did say that not everyone gets to live their dream so yeah I do feel like it's not out of love that she's with this crew okay I think it's a pretty good analysis I won't confirm or deny anything yeah from what I remember I'll I'll leave it at that but I think it's a pretty fair analysis I did also like seeing Luffy a bit more of a serious and emotional side to him this episode, both yeah. in the way he confronted Arlong and in the way he cared about Zoro in many fronts. The way he's shouldering that responsibility of the captain. It added a lot more depth to his character rather than just him being this goofy, over-the-top, energetic kind of kid-like person, you know? Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's who he is. But deep down, he is feeling a lot. He does care deeply and mm. we got more depth to him. So I also really enjoyed that. I found it interesting that when Kobe kind of... It was kind of done in a smart way where he wasn't saying it straight out. But as an audience member, like, we saw pretty much what he meant. But when Kobe was saying to Gramps, you know, you guys are pretty much similar. You guys both fight for freedom and you know what you are, you know what you want. And then Gramps' way of dealing with that is to go full throttle, full force, go even harder. Yeah, so, he kind of talked a bit. Yeah. So it kind of intrigues me, like, what was his upbringing and whatnot, and you can kind of imagine it. Well, but... we, we, we're pretty sure that he was the one that really sentenced the King of Pirates, I can't remember his name, to death in the opening scene of the show. Yeah. So he's got a pretty deep-rooted hatred for them. I don't know. I've always wondered, though, and I know this is probably going way down the line of anime, I've always wondered, even as a kid, because the King of the Pirates got killed, right? Yeah. But then for him to be the king of the pirates, this guy would have to be an absolute beast. Now, we're seeing warlords, or one warlord, who looks like he could take out several ships on his own effortlessly. Mm -hmm. The marines are, are petrified. So how did the king of the pirates, who I would assume is even stronger, get taken out? Like, you know, he looked like he could have just broken free. He was in good health, break free, and just... So I was always... I don't have an answer to that. 
Uh, I don't even know if the anime's answered that, but I was always just curious on that. I mean, I could think of a few things. Like, if we're seeing Gramps go full throttle, throttle with his own grandson, imagine what brute force he would have used for the King of the Pirates. When we saw him, it was like he was sort of tied up. Yeah. I'm not too sure. And and imagine the crew Sky would have had. Like, that crew should be next level. Mm. Luby's base crew, he's still got some weapon. What I'm intrigued with is the King of the Pirates... I don't know, he didn't seem like a bad pirate as Correct. well. Correct. So yeah. I want to know what kind of pirate he was. I do hope we get to explore him eventually. Yeah, it's probably going to be a little way down there. Yeah, I think I don't know. I don't know how. To be honest, guys, I don't actually know how this anime is going to manage to cover the series overall, uh, even with the pacing they're doing it. You mean how the series is going to cover the anime? Yeah. yeah. Like, we're looking at a 20-season series needing to release a season a year. It'll still take 20 years, so... Yeah, well, that's crazy. We're going to be old, like, covering I, I, it. I think it's really ambitious. Like, I don't know. I think they'll, get to a certain, they'll probably cover a certain portion of it. I don't know how long they can go. It'll be interesting. It is cool to finally have another badass in the crew. Because mm-hmm. before we only really had Zoro, you know, Usopp is Usopp. <laughs> and Nami's kind of cool, but she's not as strong as the others. But she's badass in yeah. her own way. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> She's not close to like Zoro level. No. And now we've got Sanji, who's another yeah. guy who can really, truly fight. So now we've got three people on the crew that can really fight. Nami's there to do her, her bit of fighting on the side and Usopp's there to run away. But that's, we've got the crew. But Sanji is like a Christmas present wrapped up and given to Luffy because not only can he fight, not only is he loyal and has a dream and, you know, he connects with Luffy, but the man can cook. Yeah. The man can cook. <laughs> and you would have noticed, so Sanji fights with his feet. From what I remember, I don't know if he gets stronger later on or whatever, but... Yeah, because he did that, like, double kick and stuff. From what I remember, his ability is his feet. Like, he pretty much never used his hands. Interesting. Which is funny, because I think... Actually, I don't know if this is true, but I wonder if this is a chef that he will mm. keep his hands clean. His hands are for the master chef. But it's also funny, too, because Zoro only uses his hands, yes. and then Sanji uses his feet, so... That'd be a good pairing. Yeah. So I think that's done intentionally, but really cool. Honestly, again, like I absolutely love this episode. I love that we're building our crew. And yes, I say our crew because I'm part of the Straw Hat Pirates. Definitely not. (laughs) Wow. You mentioned before as well that you love how, you know, having Buggy in in and whatever, it makes it feel connected. One of the elements of One Piece that the fan base often emphasizes is just how good the world building is in the show. So I expect that we probably see a lot of that connection as we go on maybe in the later seasons too because the world building must be really good cool, everything really inter- interconnects and you see a lot of characters interact and things like that i think that's great because it makes the world like the world feels really big but i love that it feels quite small and i think that the environment that we're in these days especially with you know technology and whatnot the world does feel small and you feel connected with everyone and so we're getting that in this world, we always bump into people that you know, and you've heard of this person and that person, and yeah, it's great. I'm gonna be honest. Watching this series is definitely making me want to go back and give the anime another shot and yeah. really get into it. And before you guys never really ask, I don't think it's something we could do on the channel. Unfortunately, too big, too big. If I ever got to modern day, maybe, but yeah, it's just too big at this stage. So I probably wouldn't do it on the channel. But it is giving me a bit of a Enthusiasm to want to go back, give another look, and, and explore the anime more. Well, it is making me want to watch it for the first time, so... I almost want to keep you raw, so then you can, you can catch up on the series. Yeah, kind of thing. true, true. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see how we go about it. Well, guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys in our next reaction. See you guys.